Hi there, my name is Zach Smith with Absolute High TN, and today I'd like to take you through a guide to High TN injection molding machine models. Um, this is part one or the introduction to a slightly longer series where some of the other videos will go a little bit more in depth into each model. However, this one is just going to go through the basics. So please consider us with your next purchase, but for right now, uh, I do want to separate a few different things for you. So with Absolute High TN for the U.S. and Canadian markets, we do offer uh, two different lines from High TN International, which is High TN Plastics Machinery and Saphir Plastics Machinery. Now, with High TN, these are servo hydraulic based machines using a CAPA controller. And why would somebody buy one of these machines? Pretty simple. Um, these are very energy efficient machines compared to older style hydraulic machines. Um, and right away you see a reduced cost of uh, ownership up front and then also down the road uh, for maintenance and, and things like that. Now for the Zephyr division these are electric machines that we're actually kind of looking at for maybe some higher end applications. These use a Sigma Tech control. Uh, we push these towards customers with uh, let's say clean room uh, applications or maybe some more precise reliability focused applications. But we have seen a huge uptick in these uh, machines in the North American markets. Now let's go over the high and standard models. Obviously we're going to start with our best seller. Uh, this is the Mars 2S machine that you're seeing. Uh, the Mars platform has sold over 250,000 units worldwide which is just crazy to think about. Um, there are anywhere from 67 to just over 3,700 US ton configurations available. Uh, and then if you do need to get larger but are concerned about footprint space or tie bar spacing, we do have the Jupiter 3 model. Uh, this is a two platen design, again, servo hydraulic with the cable control, starting at 506 US tons, going all the way up to 7,400 US tons. Now, you do have a Mars spinoff called the Iapetus. This is a, a multi shot configuration uh, machine. So if you need multi component uh, for servo hydraulic application, this is the machine we would push you towards. Now, we do have the Zephyr models with the Zeris being our fastest growing unit that we've sold in the US since 2015. Um, this is a five point toggle machine starting at 44 tons all the way up to 1,551 US tons. Um, this is truly an electric machine with the screw rotate, uh, the carriage motion, and the actual clamp motion all electric drive powered. Now, you do have integrated hydraulics for your cores, injectors, and your pull-in cylinders for the carriage to prevent any kind of blowback during high pressure molding. Now, the sister machine to this is the Venus 100% all electric. This is more so for the clean room applications or medical. Um, this is a little bit smaller though. It only goes up to 900 tons. Um, so if we are going to be getting up into that larger stuff, we are going to go back to hydraulics on the clamp end. Now, this is a two platen uh, design with an electric injection unit and Sigma Tech control that we call the Genius that goes all the way up to 3,709 tons. Now the Zeris also offers a spin-off called the Zeris Multi. Uh, this is for someone who needs a rotary or turntable um, and also a secondary third or fourth or fifth <laughs> injection unit. So depending on what your application is we can cover it. Um, now what we're going to actually cover in this series, uh, we're going to go over the features, the benefits, and the standard options for each model. We do want to make it clear what comes standard on the machines, what is available as a standard option from the factory that can be ordered with it. Um, and then another thing I really want to go over is what model is best for your application. That's something that some people take kind of lightly that maybe should be looked into a little bit more. Uh, and then also some important considerations to make when you're reviewing a new machine. How is this machine supported? who's the team behind it, that kind of thing. Um, so I do want to thank you for taking some time to watch this video. So please feel free to reach out if you have any questions, phone or email. Um, but please be on the lookout for the next videos. So thank you for your time and I will see you on the next one.